time to make this video. I've been privileged to do science communication online about the climate crisis as my full-time job for nearly seven years now. But based on recent events, I don't know how much longer I can do this. So far this year, I've made two videos and they've both done very badly. They've both got somewhere between a half and a third as many views as I'd expect by this stage. And that forms part of a broader trend. For the past year and a bit now, videos on my channel have been getting fewer and fewer views on average. In 2022, I made 24 videos and four, maybe five of those, actually got what I would consider a successful number of views. And that's a problem because views correlates with revenue. Not perfectly, but there's a pretty decent correlation between how many views you get as a YouTuber and how much revenue you can bring in. I'm simplifying here, but the three main pillars that I support this business with are Google AdSense, so ads appearing on my videos, sponsorships, sponsor slots within videos, and Patreon. And the first two of those pillars are highly dependent on views. With AdSense, I get paid about two pounds on average for every thousand views I get on a video. With sponsorships, it's a bit more complicated and I can't talk about it as much, but sponsors will pay more the more conversions you can get to them. And that is reasonably correlated, not perfectly correlated, with how many views you get on a video. For the past two years now, most months, my business has been making a loss. And that's actually been sustainable up until recently because in those months where I did make a profit, it was a considerable profit because I was able to do some presenting for someone else or I would make videos for someone else or I'd release a video that did really well. And so the channel was sustainable. Views at the tail end of 2022 were actually pretty good, but the overall trend was definitely downwards. And then, Last year, everything went wrong. As long-time viewers of the channel will know, early last year, my dad was diagnosed with terminal cancer and he passed away not long afterwards. And in the aftermath of that happening, I took two months off. I simply couldn't make videos in that time. And I needed to be there to support my family, to support my mum and to be an executor of the will. And in that time, all the momentum that the channel had built up basically fizzled away. You see, YouTube recommendations are partly based on recommending new content from creators that you've recently watched, and so because I wasn't making new videos, my old videos weren't being recommended to those people, and so my back catalogue views just evaporated. I was then able to go back to work for a couple of months and get a little bit of momentum going and made some videos that did quite well, and then I took more time off because my daughter was born. And that may be a surprise to you, even if you are a long-term viewer of the channel, because uh, I did make a video about it, but it just didn't seem to really go anywhere. For paternity leave, I could afford to take a month, actually a little bit less than a month off, and then I needed to come back to work, because at that point, all the reserves that I had built up over how many previous years had completely gone. And in the time since she's been born, not very much has changed. The channel hasn't really built up any momentum, Revenue has continued to fall, the business reserves are completely gone, and my personal reserves are now almost completely gone. And the problem is fundamentally views. Ultimately, more views means more revenue coming in, and it's the most explicit in Google AdSense. In 2022, Google AdSense brought in around £1,600 a month. Last year, it brought in around £900 a month, and last month, it brought in £400. Basically, unless I change something, I simply can't afford to keep doing this as my job. I want to be very clear, by the way, that I'm not blaming YouTube or the algorithm here. I'm not saying I've been making good videos, though I think I have been, and the algorithm isn't rewarding me. Though I will note that this isn't unique to me. I've spoken to several medium scale educational creators, people like my size, and larger channels as well, and they're all struggling. Educational content supported by advertising seems to be in a really rough spot right now. So it's not just me, but unlike a lot of those other creators, I, I simply can't afford to wait out this storm. After last year, I don't have the resources to do that. But I can't blame the algorithm, because if I made videos that people wanted to watch, they'd watch my videos. And sometimes they do. Several times last year, I made a video that really resonated and it got quite a lot of views, and that's great. It just didn't happen often enough for it to be viable. 
Though I will note that several people have contacted me to say that even though they have all notifications on for my channel, YouTube still doesn't tell them when I've made a new video, which is frustrating to say the least. Regardless, looking at the data, I have to accept a painful truth. While I can make good videos, I don't think I'm a good YouTuber. At least not anymore. As I said, I've been making videos as my full-time job since 2017, and in that time, this website, this app, has changed a lot. The way that people interact with YouTube now is very different to how they interacted with YouTube seven years ago. And certainly very different to how they did seven years ago before that. Yet I think I've been still approaching making videos like it's 2017, starting with me knowing something or learning about something, and then making a video to teach you about that thing, starting with me and ending with you. And that just doesn't seem to be a viable approach anymore, at least not for me. In my opinion, new channels that seem to do well and channels that get views very consistently seem to be those that start by asking what does the audience want to know about? And then finding the overlap between that demand and their own expertise. Maybe that seems like a semantic change, like rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic. But I can assure you, as a creator, that completely upends how you create videos, how you come up with the ideas and structure the videos and title and create thumbnails for them. And I think it's the change I need to make for this channel. I should point out this isn't the first thing I've considered. I've tried to create new revenue streams by uh, making exclusive content for Nebula, by launching a whole new podcast, by doing presenting work and consulting with other creators about my titles and my thumbnails. But so far, revenue has kept falling. I could cut back on outgoings, though they are very limited. The only large outgoing is paying for my editor, who I pay almost as much as I pay myself. Well, though actually I haven't paid myself in three months. I could part ways with my editor and edit videos again myself, but that would mean lower quality videos less frequently, and I'd be able to offer less as exclusive content on Patreon, so revenue would fall. And I don't think it addresses the root cause. I'm not making videos that people want to watch. And that's down to me. And again, I think my approach. Here's the rub. I have a couple of months, max, to try and fix this. And if I can't fix this, if I can't bring this channel back to life, then maybe I can't do this as my job anymore. So in the next couple of months, you're going to see a pivot in the kind of videos I make on this channel. And I'm not, I'm not proposing to suddenly start churning out content or start putting out controversial opinions about subjects that I don't really understand. That would be irresponsible. Based on what I previously said, I'm going to try and make videos that answer questions you have about the climate crisis and surrounding topics. And maybe you don't even know that you have those questions. And maybe you won't even notice that this pivot has taken place. But for me, this is huge. This is a paradigm shift in how I fundamentally do my job. And it's scary. This feels like the final roll of the dice. I have been incredibly privileged to make a living talking about what I think is the most important issue in the world, the climate crisis. And I genuinely think that talking about climate is the best use of what limited talents I have. This is the best thing that I could be doing. And it's been viable, it's, it's supported me and my editor, and I've enjoyed doing it. But changes in the industry and not keeping up with YouTube and recent events have just meant that it's not viable right now. At the end of the day, me making a living isn't just about what I want to do anymore. I have a family to support. And maybe talking about climate is something that Going forwards, I need to do in an organisation, or I do alongside something else. Maybe I make a video on this channel every couple of months alongside a, a regular job. But the fundamental thing is I've got to provide for my family. It's as simple as that. I've loved doing this job. It's really bloody hard, and you have to work really long hours and do like 10 jobs all at once, and travel a load, and deal with some really awful people on the internet. But I've enjoyed doing it. The upsides outweigh the considerable downsides. This video isn't me asking for help. I'm trying to just be transparent about the situation I'm in, about the, the problem and what I'm trying to do to fix it. 
And if you do want to support me, then you absolutely can. I have a Patreon. I actually, have, these are my executive producer patrons over here. I'm incredibly fortunate to have a community of people who support me on Patreon. Without their support, I would not have financially survived last year. I, I, I can't stress that enough. The, the past several months of videos have only happened because of Patreon support. If you've heard all of this and you'd like to help, if you'd like to make me a little less dependent on advertising revenue, then thank you. There'll be a link down there in the description to the Patreon. But this is the deal. Right now, things aren't working and we've kind of reached a crisis point. And I think we've reached that point because of me. And so I need to make some changes. And if I can't make those changes and make things work in the next couple of months, then I think I need to call it a day on this YouTube channel in the form that it's come to be at the very least. And maybe that's okay, maybe I'll just run my race here on YouTube. But I think that the stuff I talk about is important and I enjoy doing it. And so I'm not giving up without a fight. So thank you for watching. Thank you for everything, and I'll see you in the next one.